Hey, this is Digital by Computing. We are logged in here to vSphere 6.7, or you can do this on 6.5, and we're gonna look at how to create a template or deploy a template uh, from uh, vSphere. Nice and easy, let's look at how to do that right after this. So my name is Emilio, I work in the IT industry, and we are here connected into a uh, vSphere console, into a vSphere client, through the web browser, uh, you, can, you can do this feature by you know essentially putting the IP address of your vCenter environment, and you log in to your vCenter server, and then you've got you know essentially a breakdown of your hosts and the VMs running within those hosts. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a template and show you how to deploy a VM from a template. So, really, a template is a nice and easy way to deploy uh, VMs very very quickly. Uh, the way that you generally create a template is you would build yourself a VM, a Windows VM, a Linux VM, whatever it may be, and you build it to a state where you are very happy with it from a configuration point of view, from an installation point of view, perhaps with all the applications that you need to be running on that VM. You then essentially convert that VM into what's called a template, and then in future, all you do is you can build, let's say if I need to build five new VMs, I can deploy those five VMs from that one single template, nice and easy, and I can be assured that the configuration is going to be exactly the same for those five VMs. So, let's just say I've got a server here called PFSense. So this is a, um, a proxy firewall um, solution, uh, and I'm very happy with this VM. I've just built it, it's now powered off, and I want to deploy a number of these VMs in future. So once it's been powered off, all I have to do is literally right click on this VM, or I can go into actions, either of the two, and go down to the template area. I'm then going to say convert to template. All right, so I click on that. I'm gonna convert the PFSense virtual machine to a template, I can say yes. So that process is now completed, and it's essentially just changed that VM from a VM to a template, all right? Now, you'll see that it's now disappeared under this host view. It's not actually gone, it's just removed from this host view because it's no longer a VM, it's now a template. So I can now go into my VMs and templates area right here, and under my data center view, discovered virtual machines, you'll see that within here, I've now got a PFSense folder or a PFSense template. You see that the icon is now different, and this is now essentially a template. It's no longer a VM, it's now a template. So I can't really go in and power this template on uh, because it's no longer a VM, it's now a template. I can still see a whole bunch of information about it, see the permissions, see the data store, etc. But now it's uh, fully used for deployment of VMs. Really the next step is if I want to now deploy a VM from this, all I do is I right click on this and I can now say new VM from this template. I can now convert this template back to a virtual machine I can clone to a template, I can clone to library, but we're gonna look at how to build a new VM from this template. So I select that, I give my VM a name, so now it's pfsense02, where do I wanna put it? All right, we're gonna leave that there. What data, what um, host, we're gonna put it into this host here, say next. What storage we want to use, we're gonna leave it as the same source. Well, no, let's make it thin provisioned. It's gonna go onto this storage device, onto this data store. Do I wanna go ahead and customize it? So I can go into here and actually go ahead and customize the OS slightly further, such as the license key and other small little features. Essentially, you're S, you know, creating an SOE, a standard operating environment, straight from this template. You can customize the hardware um, and you can power on the VM automatically after its creation. We're gonna leave all these blank because we're gonna deploy it exactly as is um, from the existing um, template that we created earlier. Bit of a summary and click on finish. So then now it's essentially going to be, it says it's cloning the VM, but it's now creating a VM directly from that template. I can now go straight into here and create another one, all right, and follow the same process. So this VM is now a template, which I can now deploy multiple VMs from, uh, nice and easy. Going to you know, leave the configuration and the, um, the setup of that VM exactly the same. 
Now, if I do need to update this VM, so let's say for example, it's a Windows VM and I need to go ahead and update and make sure that the patches are updated. All you'll have to do is right click on this, you convert it back to a VM, right? In this case, I can't because it's currently you know, building a VM from the template, but you would convert it back to a VM, power it on, go and update it and patch it, and then power it off, and then convert it back to a template, and then you're good to go. All right, so that is really it. So that's gonna take a little bit of time depending on how big your um, VM is, but that is the simple steps on how to create a template and how to deploy a VM from a template. I hope you found this video helpful. I would love it if you commented below. Let me know your thoughts and uh, we will talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, just on the button there for more videos.